He who has a why to live can bear almost any how. The Wisdom of Friedrich Nietzsche. Welcome to McBain Moments. Before we get started, as always, if you're new to the channel, welcome to the manor. Make sure you take a moment and subscribe down below. Which is probably in the camera. We're on the road to 13 million subscribers, one subscription at a time, so make sure you subscribe. He who has a why to live can bear almost any how. Nietzsche was probably one of the most revolutionary philosophers of the last age. And it's... Honestly, it's probably just because of his pessimism. Or maybe it's not pessimism. I believe, I firmly believe that Nietzsche saw the world in ways that we as people have a hard time looking at the world because the world can be very depressing and so he looked at the way that he saw our culture evolving and he gave a bunch of warnings but he also gave a bunch of advice and I think the most important thing that he might have said was the, the, aforem uh, the heretofore mentioned uh, statement that he who has a why can bear any how because life is tough. It's exceedingly tough. And it's a burden on all of those who have to live it, which of course is everyone. And so, well, how do you overcome, how do you overcome the traumas that, that intersperse your life and make existence itself almost a tragedy? And that's actually a, a, an axiomatic thing that like, you know, the tragedy of existence is something that in philosophy is actually fairly deeply rooted, and I'm finding it more and more, and it's a very pessimistic way of looking at things. And so I, at first, I kind of rejected the idea that, um, that existence is a tragedy, and I still reject the idea that existence itself is a tragedy, replacing it with, in order to exist, you must be able to handle tragedy. And tragedy often comes in the form of trauma. And so, as, as you look through your life and you explore all of the traumas that you've had to sustain over the course of your life, what is it that kept you going? Think about it. Like, pause the video and think about it. Because there's got to be something that kept you from, like, devolving into nihilism and wanting to, you know, see the end of everything. And I think that for a lot of us, for, I mean, for some people, it's, it's fairly basic. They have, you know, it's for their spouse, or it's for their children, it's for their pets. And I think that's why that people have pets have a much lower, um, they're far less induced, uh, I don't remember the exact statistics, but I know statistically speaking, they're less likely to self-harm, is uh, if you have a pet, because you need to take care of that pet. The pet can't take care of itself. You're also more likely to give them give medicine to your pets than you are to medicate yourself when you need it. That is also st statistically proven. If I can ever find the darn things again, I will put them in the comments for you or in the description. And so the, um, the point is, is that you need to find a why. For most people, it's, it's a set of goals, and you really need to set those goals. And we've talked about this a lot. You gotta have your, your pie in the sky meta goal, and you gotta have the little goals to get you to the pie in the sky eventually. And the pie in the sky should be something that is essentially out of reach, but not so far out of reach that you can't develop up to it. And so, okay, now you have a goal. That's, that's a purpose that you can have, and you gotta find a purpose for yourself. And in the meantime, while you're trying to sort yourself out, because there's a lot to sort out there, you know, have something that will make it so that you can, can concentrate best on what you're trying to do. And maybe it's a cat, or maybe it's a dog, or if you have children, definitely make sure it's your children, because your children, your children are the sacrifice you make for the future, uh, genetically speaking. And that's, that's how the species propagates. But at the same time, in order for our framework, this, this, this thing we call society, to continue, we must make sure our children are ready to bear their own burdens by the time they are no longer children. And so it's, it's our responsibility as parents to do that. Um, so that should be one of your goals. But on top of that, you still need to have a personal goal for your own development or else kid turns 18 and that's where empty nest syndrome comes in. And 
So it's it's something that you need to take the time to really think about and develop in yourself. And there's a number of ways you can do that. There's there's tons of online learning you can do. Go look it up. Um, I'm not here to advertise for anyone in particular, but they are, they are out there. And there's, there's huge amounts of literature on personal development. And any personal development you read, take with a grain of salt, because all of them have their own... Um, and no author in existence, no YouTuber in existence, this includes me, does not have their own implicit biases toward what they think is correct. So read what you can, watch what you can, absorb everything, decide what makes sense to you, and dump the rest. Because that's how you build your the architecture around yourself that will allow you to build your own world and build out your yourself, your sense of self, and your sense of accomplishment over time that will get you to your goals better. And so, you know, that's, that's the gist of it. If you have a why, it doesn't matter what traumas that happen to you. You will always manage to make it through. It might be hard. I'm not saying you won't have, you know, moments of, of sadness or grief or regret or pain. And there might be a lot of them, especially at first, because as, as, as you all know, the, the starting off is the hardest part, and then once you start to climb, the climb gets sharper, but it also gets faster. And so, it's, you, you deal with the pains now so that in the future things are better. And if you are willing to take on the burden of it, if you are able to take on the burden of the why, you will accomplish through the how. You will find the how. Go find your why. If you have it, comment below and let me know. If you have a why and a how, it might be interesting to hear what it is. Maybe you can make your own video and you can post a link down below. This has been a McBain moment.